matter. Uh, don't don't, touch, no, don't touch, touch me. Do not touch me. It's all live and my drone is up. No, do, do not touch me. Just relax. Just do not, no, there is no reason. Keep filming. Just relax. There's no reason for you guys. We were going to pat, pat uh, you down for what? No, Stop no, tensioning no. your muscles, please. I don't have to put Stop my Stop tensioning your muscles, please. You, got you better get out of my face. I'm not in your face. You are literally. You told me to get outside. Okay, so walk. It's not me. Call for help. I do not want my face on his camera. It was easy. They want me to show them my license or my lease agreement at 12 o'clock at night. And they get the ticket. You're one of the What's up guys? So this is San Diego, California. I cannot believe the way it went down, but then again, this is why we're out here. So it's not too hard to believe. But what is crazy about this situation is I talked to the supervisor after and he pretty much says the whole thing was a sham. These guys illegally identified me. These guys illegally um, detained me. The whole point of this is to see what cops respect our constitutional rights, and obviously these guys don't. These guys are feelings enforcement, and I calmly let these guys know that I knew my rights, and I told them what they were doing wrong, and the guy Kuvadar pretty much just wanted to reject and just put his hands on me. Once he put once he put, put the gloves out of the car, I already know. When a cop pull, put on gloves or black gloves, they're pretty much going to put hands on you, and that's just no evidence left on you from them. And with that being said, I can already tell he was hostile. He was a shorter guy. I'm just going to say that. I guess I'm still in the mood right now, but it's very aggravating if you guys are watching, just seeing how it all plays out, and then to find out that they let me go, and I stand right in the same spot where they let me go at. And I even have a chat with one officer after. But these guys are fake, man. He's a bunch of fake cops. They aren't upholding the constitutional rights. You know, it's really like, what are you guys doing in this building with this space? It's like a big gang, big blue line gang. And they got to be held accountable for all of their actions. I'm not going to hold you up for too much longer. But really, really watch the video and pay attention to how the whole process got reversed. This looks more like a detention center. So they are closed. For deliveries, please ring the doorbell. Thank you. Due to the COVID-19 virus. Look like they got some support. And that could be anybody. Let's keep going for a second. See um, how they react if I go to the gate on the other side. I have yet to see any officers. Let's go by the gate. Let's see what we got here. I definitely do want to uh, go up to the gate. This one, she went. See how he's done. Let's see if I can get an angle from here. Uh, just let that officer sit there for a second. I don't need your directives, man. I'm good. I don't need any help. Yeah, you need to stay away from the gate. I'm good right here. This is fine right here. You guys can get in. This guy's telling me I can't be by the gate. 
Guess he's just gonna sit there. Let's put on his gloves. <laughs> Calling for backup. Let's see what he's talking about. Okay. Got another officer coming out. Let's see if we can get him. He's definitely gonna come out. Let's make sure we get him over here. Hello, sir. I'm Officer Wood, San Diego Police. How you doing? You doing okay? Can you step on the sidewalk, please, and get off the property? This is public property. No, this is private property. This is a police officer station. And you can get on the sidewalk. And right? that's public property. It's funded by the people. Can I have your name and badge number? Yes, it's Officer Woods, 7042. Can I have your name and badge can number? Can you get off the property, officer please, sir? Officer 7682, you need to get off the private property. Can, can I have your name and badge number? 7814. Okay, so this yeah, is all public property right here? We don't have a problem with you filming, sir. Mm -hmm. We just have you a problem, obviously, looking through the fence line and everything like that. Is that a misdemeanor or a felony? It's the, trespassing. The, the problem you guys have. It's trespassing. You guys have a sign that says I'm trespassing right now by being on this? Yeah, this is this is private property. You can't be on the... the... This is private yeah, property. This is funded by the people. This is public property. Also, this is the bushes. So this bush you guys are saying yeah, is private the property. You're, you're ruining the, the plant, sir. Can you just step on the sidewalk? It's literally... I can, but I don't, I don't have to, so I won't. Do you have your ID on you, sir? I haven't committed a crime. Why should I identify myself? It's hey, your it's policy. It's suspicious. So is suspicion a, a misdemeanor or a felony? That's just reasonable suspicion to, to stop and talk to you, right? Can you just step on the... It's not reasonable suspicion for me to identify, though. I don't have to identify unless yeah, I committed I'm, a crime. I'm asking you nicely just to step on the sidewalk. This please. is public property. Anyone who's walking... Plants. People have to... This is killing the plants. You understand that? Look, look where you're Is stepping. that a misdemeanor or a felony? Um, what law have I violated? What law have I... What, what, what law have I violated? What law is this that I'm breaking? Please, because this is my First Amendment right. It's my First Amendment right. Where's the trespassing sign? He told me that. Where's a sign to Where's a sign to warn the civilian? Private property. So we're going to make you if you don't. You guys are going to make me. Yes. So where's the sign that says I'm trespassing? There's no need sign. Wow. We'll have our supervisor come here. Thank you. It seems like he knows his rights a little more than you, buddy. You're going to make me. It comes down to it, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm if not moving. Down to it, sir, we will remove you. Remove course. me from what? From from the private property. The private property. Yeah, we saw you up here filming inside the gate, okay? Amazing. Yeah, you don't think that's a little suspicious? That's what he said. That's what he related. But it's suspicious, but it's not illegal. That's what we're that's what we're here for. Uh, you guys can't enforce it, your feelings. It can cross into illegal. It can, but it's not trespassing. It okay? can, but it's not. If I go past that gate, I'm trespassing. If I go past that gate, I'm trespassing. Uh, that much, but you guys should know. You have to leave off of this property and you're refusing to, is that correct? This property is public. Can I can't, I can't, can you guys keep your hands out of your pockets? He has his hand right in his pockets. Can you take your hand out of your pocket, please? Do you guys have anything you don't have, supposed to have on you? Do you have any weapons on you, sir? Do you guys have any weapons on you? Yes, yes we, we do. do. Do you have any weapons on you, sir? Are they, are, are they automatic? Uh, don't, touch don't, touch, no, don't, don't touch me. Do not touch me. It's all live and my drone is up. No, do, hey, do not touch relax, me. Just relax. Just do, relax. No, there is no you reason. Keep filming. Just relax. relax. There is no reason keep for you guys. We were going to pat, pat uh, you down for weapons. No, Stop no, tensioning no. your muscles, please. I don't have to put Stop my Stop tensioning your muscles, please. You guys, can, you guys don't have, Thank I don't you. consent to you guys patting hey, me down. Hey, all I ask is if you have any weapons, you kept reaching in your pockets. I'm not under arrest. No, you're detained right now. I'm not being detained. Yes, you are. Under what reason of suspicion of a crime? I already explained this to you. Which is what? Refusing to leave. Where's your trespassing signs? That, 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 that warned me that I'm trespassing. I already explained this to you. Cool. Do you have any weapons on you, sir? Uh, you guys are here to pass me down. You guys are here to pass me down. Okay. It's a simple question, though. You can be cooperative. I have my right to remain silent. Yeah. Before I'm arrested. Illegal detained by San Diego. We asked you to leave the property and you refused. Let's check that. Thanks. So you guys know this is a direct violation of your policy and your guidelines. Did you want to... Yeah, I don't think so. 
Okay. Yes, please. Is that him? Hey, so is there any sign that says um, that I'm trespassing right here by sitting on this grass right here? Yeah, this is a... Excuse me, excuse me. Can I go can I go mine? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to the gentleman. This, this is private property. Thank you. Thank you. Right here. And when you're asked to leave. This is private property? Yeah, this is private property of the public, but you when you're asked to leave, mm -hmm. then This is private property of the public. public. Can you say that again? So we This is private property of the public? Open to the public. Open to the public. When you're asked to leave. Mm -hmm. Can I have your name and guys number? Can sure. I have your name? Sure. Can you write me a paper? Yep. Right down for I got it. So when you're asked to leave and you don't leave, that's trespassing. Public they, property. They, they, they explain that to you. Mm -hmm. So that's where we're at. You right want to know what your officer so said? He said, "Don't be by the gate." So that was his first directive. Well, that no, I did not have to follow. I'm sorry, gate. I'm not talking to you. I was talking yeah, to you. Yeah, you were up at the gate filming the inside. You wasn't of the, the first guy building. I talked to. Also. I'm just explaining to you why you're detained right now. You don't have to explain it to me. I'm explaining okay, it to him. Okay, so you understand. I'm yeah. explaining it to him. Good. Yeah, I understand the illegal detain. Yeah, I'll I'll file a complaint. And I'll definitely have a point of request for all your body cam. Is your body cam recording? Yes, it is. Is your body cam recording? Is your body cam recording? Yes, you body cam recording? You guys um, cannot see moving. Can you step over this way? We got a vehicle coming out. Is your body cam recording? Yes, sir. Miss, is your body cam recording also? What's your last name, sir? What's your last name? Yeah, I'm in my car. What reason do I typically have a crime that I do? I have to, we have to write a report, say what happened today. You guys are supposed to figure out what crime I did and then state that. There is no crime for me. He wants a crime. Trespassing. You're going to get a citation for trespassing. So what's your name, sir? The citizen. Okay, I'm going to go. We're going to have to fingerprint him. Okay. So I'm illegally detained from standing on the grass. They don't have any trespassing. any trespassing signs up, not even on the gate, as you guys seen. So I was informed. I was verbally informed. No physical, no physical um, signs up or anything. Say where you are. This guy right here, Officer Kuvadar. Kuvadar. Badge number four five seven nine. Definitely wants to detain me. How are you doing, Fairness? Too shabby. How about yourself? I'm doing amazing. Doing terrific. So now we're gonna attempt to identify me illegally. When you're legally detained, you have to provide your identification. You should know your law. You should know that. So my right isn't to remain silent either, huh? This is not the courtroom. Wow. That applies to the courtroom. Wow. Miranda rights was applied to the courtroom. When you don't provide your name, that's also obstructing peace officer. Charge. So it'd be easier if you just gave us your name. I'm all, I'm here. For, I'm, I'm all here for it. This is what this is what it's about. The disconnect between the people and the police officer. You guys are feeling enforcement right now. There is no sign that says I am trespassing. Even if I pass the gate, and that is on you guys. That is you guys supposed to have your sign. It's not right? how that works. Okay, got gotcha. you. No, it's when obviously you're here filming. We ask you, how's it going? Can you get off the property? And you say, I am not leaving the property. This is public property. At that point, when I ask you to leave, to step off the, the property here and step on the sidewalk and you refuse, that's trespassing. Okay? There doesn't have to be a sign or anything like that, okay? It's the same as like a business owner that doesn't have a trespassing sign. If they say, hey man, you're, you're, you're not a customer here, you need to leave. And you say, no, I'm not leaving. There's no trespassing sign. You're trespassing after that point when a business or private property telling you to leave and you refuse. Does that make sense? It's pretty easy. So how's your day been? Amazing. Pretty good? Amazing. Yeah.
So right now they're fingerprinting me on my outside. This guy just want to grab me to make sure he can feel some type of control. Stop turning around on him. Stop turning around? Yeah. So he can just be behind my back with his gun and all this is illegal. It's all being filmed. It's, it's all, all our body cameras. It's, You're it's, legally detained. I'm going to get all the body cams and everything. This is going to be perfect. Anyway. Okay. This is your first time fingerprinting somebody outside? Or yeah. you guys we do it all outside? the time. Okay. Perfect. Is it your first time? I'm going to be my first lawsuit in California. Where else have you done that lawsuit? Sorry, what was that? What other states have you done law lawsuits in? Exactly where the officers are like this, where their feelings are enforced. Because when they say they want you to step off that by the gate, the then you get right here, then they say you want you to step off right here. Yeah. All those officers, all those tyrants. Oh, yeah. uh, maybe. Oh, did you say it's his? Yeah. The car's running. Okay. That's the thing about most cops, you know, minutes. when it's bad cops, a yeah. lot of good cops don't stop for bad cops. And that's why a lot of good cops get hurt because of the bad cops. And huh. it's the disconnect. You, you guys are supposed of, to be stopping this right now. But you have a lot of experience in this? You worked in law enforcement before? I know the color of my skin says otherwise. So it's a racial thing? No. It was about a 10 minute process of me being detained illegally. Officer. Kuvadar. Kuvadar doesn't want me to turn my back or anything. So. I'm going to play by these guys' rules because they always got the guns and the. Yeah. Not knowledge. They got guns and no knowledge. Blue line pin, thin blue line game. It's perfect. That didn't work. We're going to try again. Okay, just stand still, please. Thank you. I need a FOIA request form. If you guys have those, I know the inside's closed. A what? A FOIA request form. Freedom of Information Act. So I can get you guys a body cam. Everyone who was involved in this incident. Do you guys have forms or do I have to go online? Probably have to go online. Probably? Yeah. Or do I? Probably, yeah. I can inquire about it. A lot it, of stuff you don't know. Yeah. yeah How about I don't you? Know do everything. you have forms inside or you guys can go online? Oh, well, now we can ask the sergeant. Thank you. That'd be amazing. Probably through that's, the headquarters downtown. Oh, yeah. yeah. Been there also. And then going to all the police stations doing this? You're the first ones. Really? No, you're the first ones to act like this. Okay. Would you be willing just to give us your name and date of birth so we can move this process along a little faster. The process. The process is you uh, need to move on the faster. ticket process. Uh ticket process. Yes, I'm I, think it's I, I am cooperating. There you go. Well you're not cooperating. Well, no. We We're just asked you to leave the simple property and this all could have been avoided. So but one, two, three, four officers asked me to leave. Sir, sure. Gotcha. What would it take for you to cooperate with us and provide us your name and date of birth? Um, what would it take? What would it take? Yes sir. I just want to see if you guys uphold our constitutional right, my first amendment, so I can record and press. You guys take me out this cup for me. That'd be amazing. Not yet. You ask me what it would take. You don't do it, that's cool. You just ask me. Other than that, I would like to remain silent while you guys finish the citation. So you're saying if we take you out of cup, then you're going to tell us your name and word? Is that it? Because right now you're just adding on additional charges. You're adding on not just trespassing, but now you're delaying resisting a police officer. Do you understand that? First, I can have the right to remain silent before and after I'm arrested. This is your guys' job. You guys are supposed so to you, investigate. You're required, you're required to give us your name and date of birth at least. 
That's what you so got. So we can write our time. ticket and write our report. The ticket but now you're, is illegal. Now you're refusing You that. guys can finish your illegal process so I can have other things. Mm -hmm. You guys can figure finish your illegal process so I can have other mm -hmm. things that I'm suing for. Identify me illegal illegally. I'm looking for your wallet. Maybe not, maybe not the color thing. You don't have a, not the color thing. your ID on you? Not the color thing. Please. Sorry, you don't have your ID on you? Do you have a California ID? Or is it from out of state? Any other fingers? No, sir. Thank you. Any way I can help you guys? You can help us by giving us your name. You can help you me can by help uploading yourself, my constitutional you rights. You can help me by uploading my constitutional rights. But you guys obviously don't do that. So your supervisor, can I speak with him about the What's going on, bro? You seem so hostile. I'm not hostile. I just want to get back to my investigation. Uh, None of us are hostile, man. I'm not talking to you. I can't speak for everybody either. Yeah. He's probably the most unhostile person. So, so who's the I'll most hostile? Uh, Does he know that? Probably none of us. We're probably pretty young. Not hostile. Gotcha. America's funny. Yeah. We're all pretty good. It even says on the front door. It's not going to say it the way things are looking after this. After what? Just a little YouTube, just a little exposure about how you guys actually are. It's not the first time, but it won't be the last. Of course. Definitely won't be. He's trying to get the views, huh? Oh no, I got that already. Yeah. Those like and smash that like button. Oh no, I got those already also. Yep. I want a connection with the cops before you guys stop people just because you don't see color, so I'll do it again. We're not talking about it. Yep. Right. right about that. But this isn't the way to go about it. Um, you know. Walking up to the gate like that. The way you guys are yep. going about it is the way I mean, go about it. People are getting, cops yeah. are getting ambushed. You guys are going about it the right way, not yeah. me. And then when we ask you to leave, you refuse to leave. So that's why you're just Hey, sir, that. you understand? So, fingerprint scanner's not working. Nothing's coming up from my system. Um, are there so there's a, there's a bigger system that question. we take you to. A, we have to take you to a jail if you refuse to provide us your name and date of birth. 627 jail, 10 Already in cuffs. Fifty percent of it is already over. Well, that's the so, thing here. Why, why, why would you refuse to give us your name and date yeah. of birth? You're um, just trying to prolong this, right? I'm not trying to prolong anything. Yeah. I would like to go. This if is you what you wanted to out. happen. It seems like. Well, so this is the process. You give us your name and date of birth. We write up our ticket. We give you a copy of it. You're free to go. If you refuse to do that, then we have to take you down to jail and we're gonna have to yeah. fingerprint you on the big system. Um, if I'm detained, you guys are supposed to be doing that anyway. I'm, I'm not stopping any process. This is your legal process that's already in process that you've already started. Alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And this is. So, wait one second. I was detained, right? But now I'm let go. And I just want to say the one officer definitely stopped my phone from recording after he detained me. And once I was. Not detained, no longer. I grabbed my phone out and I was shot what you guys see here right now. And I'm talking to this guy, this officer right now, and he literally says that what I was doing was not illegal, meaning that his fellow officers 
did something completely illegal. They didn't follow protocol. He didn't want to identify himself. He did give me his car after though. I believe he gave it to me after this video. But if you see after this clip, I stand right in the exact same spot to see if this was illegal, if they were going to detain me again. And basically his response to that was, no, we're just feelings enforcement. So this whole department has to go down, guys. I'm going to put their number up. Make sure you guys call these guys and let them know this is a whole entire fake department. You can just don't be in here because look, cars are coming in and out. Very true. So you want to be over there? So let me go. go. Got my information. So if I'm right okay. here, this is oh, trespassing. Here. Can I ask you, am I trespassing it's, if it's I stand right here? Very technical ones. That it's more just as long as you're out of the way, the safety. Then if you want to film right there, then go it's ahead. It's a very technical one. You yeah, hear go that, ahead. Because I mean, it is. You said go ahead. It, you, so gonna, this whole thing to, was illegal, as I said. Just don't be in here. Okay. Mm hmm. I'm free to stay. You gotta grab your stuff. Thank you. I definitely will do that. I don't want you guys grabbing any hair file up there. So, he said it was cool to sit here. You guys know that? Did you guys notice that though? So, this is a pretty big one for you guys, man. Not you do understand, you're not getting charged with anything, right? Going to lie. But Can you do us a favor and move along? But you guys, you guys. That's because I knew my rights. You know. well, here's the thing, okay, I, I understand what you're doing, I understand all that, but given the way things are in the world right now, some of the stuff that's happened, both, you know, with a, attacks on law enforcement, all that, officers are on edge, I don't... But do you wonder why? Because it's guys like him who arrest me on public ground off of, based off his feelings, well, no, not the law. You. He detained you. Illegally, right. and okay. identified me illegally. This whole thing was illegal. The okay, identification. Well, that, well, hold on. I'm not going to get into the, the legal arguments. About you don't have that. to. Um, that's something that you can, you're, you're willing, you're more than welcome to speak to people who know more than both of us put already, together about this stuff. Right? Have. And, and determine whether that is or is in fact, is or is not the case, okay? Um, all I'm asking you is we have officers coming in and out all the time and we don't have a problem with you standing here and filming. We just ask that you stay clear of the vehicle path all right, so you guys just detain me well, right here. Do that, then we're good to go. So you guys, you guys do have a problem because right. I was standing right here. Go. Yeah. Yes, sir. These All guys right, let me care, go, Mr. man. Robert. Tyrants, bro. This is crazy. You guys want communication and you guys want law enforcement to be safe. You can't, you can't let guys like this. Literally, okay, he can do what he want to do, but it's up to you to back it up and say, you know what? Actually, with the guy in the plaid shirt, just say. You can't stand right here, it's just technical. People get killed off technical, people get angry off technicals, and I didn't want to identify myself. So with that being said, you guys use the force that you guys have. Without the badge, without the I'm gun. I'm curious as to what force was used. Come on, you got five weapons, you got three clips on you. That's at least 10 okay. clips around between all you guys. That's not the force. That is force. That is definitely force. You have a badge and a gun on you. You guys are public servants identifying me on public property without reasonable articulable suspicion of a crime. I didn't commit a crime at all. Okay. Well, I, I just go. Goodbye, Tyron. You have a good day. Um, I mean, I disagree with you on what you consider force. Okay. This is this is. I have the potential to mm -hmm. use force, right? Mm -hmm. But I have used no force. You have not. No. It, none of the your, other guys your here officer has. Magazines did. I, we're getting into the kind of the weeds and the per, and a perception difference between mm -hmm. how you perceive it and how other people are going to perceive it, and or potentially how a court would perceive it. Mm -hmm. Which really, when it comes down to it, is what matters most. But see, this is a, the illegal part is right here. Nothing I did was illegal. Suspicious, maybe. But not illegal. But given everything in the world, would you not? Given. If someone's suspicious in front of your house, would you address it? I didn't notice this was you guys' home. This is and even if here. I oh, was, 40 plus hours if they were on the sidewalk recording, then I wouldn't have to say anything. I wouldn't say anything. I couldn't say anything. I couldn't even call you guys to say anything. And you guys couldn't do anything no, about you it. You could still call and say, hey, this person's being suspicious. I want an address. Nothing but we, nothing It doesn't done, mean though. we can make them stop. Exactly. But we have the right to come out and check on it. If you, if you as a citizen or you're out, someone's standing in front of your house doing exactly what you're doing. Mm -hmm. now, 
and you have the right to call us and say, hey, I don't know what this guy's up to. I'd like you to talk to him. Mm -hmm. And we would talk to him just the way we did with you. Very true. So there's you guys wouldn't detain that guy, though, on public property and say it's private. We That's might. the now the lies is the is the real disconnect. No, we, that, we, we, we probably would put him if they did exactly mm -hmm. if they acted in exactly the same manner as you did. All right. Then there's very high i would tell you probably 99 out of 100 that, that it would go down exact same way and that's why these audits are the being conducted checks and nothing would happen and then you'd be released or that person would be released and sent mm -hmm. on their way just like it's happened with I, I understand the goodness and everything you're a good officer to explain it but see bad officers make good officers look bad because if you don't stop these situations that's happening right now or if you don't know the law fully yourself i can't quote you on it or doubt you for it but you should at least say, you know what, maybe we should just stop because uh, what we're doing is illegal, not him. You know what I'm saying? Just because you want to find, investigate okay. about what is going on illegally. It's not, a, it's not a stop. I didn't blow through a light. So you don't have to do an illegal U-turn to come get me. You don't have to do something illegal to uphold something that was legal. Well, you understand like what I'm said, saying? I was not here when the whole thing started, so I can't speak to what the officer saw, didn't see. I don't know. That's where we're at okay. now. Well, Accountability, no, man, is amazing. No, there's no, there's nothing. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, what I'm saying is from what I've seen now, mm -hmm. I understand what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. I appreciate what you're trying to do. Do you? I think there's maybe better ways to go about it. How would that be? You think it? Let's so, be let me know some. more cooperational. When we come up, if we say, hey, can I get your name, get your birth date? Can I identify you? But which is supposed to be if you're doing something illegal. No, because I can. Could, I, if okay, I, can I get your I, name and your birthday right now? If I saw you walking down the street mm -hmm. and I'm in uniform, dressed like I am now, I could walk up and say, "Hey, man, how's it going? Mm -hmm. You got a second? And if you stop and talk to me, I've done nothing illegal. Very true. And in Very the true. process, as I'm talking to you now, right, I start to build any kind of reasonable suspicion of anything else mm -hmm. based on what I see, how you're acting, things you're carrying, whatever. Very true. I could elevate that from what we call a consensual contact into a detention, where now I do have the legal right to take steps to identify you. That's because okay. you have to identify, you have to identify. But if this officer determined what? that what he was doing was a detention mm -hmm. based off reasonable suspicion. And he has to pay for those consequences. Then he has to, then he off has what to he identify. thought. We don't go off thought, we go off facts because that's how people get killed. Okay. A lot of, they think a lot of bad people just have well, guns and stuff. How do we, we get don't. to facts? We, we get to, to facts. Think to get to facts. We have to think right. to get to facts. Yes, we have to think. You can't, facts don't just present themselves most of the time. You have to dig a bit. You and you guys is questions. training the facts were presented to you guys. You have to okay. have reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime to make someone even identify okay. themselves. And, uh, some and to detain that, someone, it has to be idea? illegal. I'm going to ask you a question. Because I'm still right here and it's all fine. That's the crazy part. Hold, hold on, Arthur. I'm going to ask you hypothetically. How, do you have any idea how many times people have jumped over that fence, snuck in through those gates, and entered this facility that aren't supposed to be in here? It happens a lot. I'm um, okay. not one of those guys. And I that's that. and that's that. what the feelings enforcement did. No, no, no. They had a feeling that I would go across and do no. that. But so I actually the sat thing. right there. We we cannot operate based off, off the fact. No, we have to, we have, the to fact. we have to go. He's there. He may do that. And we address it Arrest before him. it happens. Mm -hmm. No, part of that's what part of what we do with criminal enforcement is we try to address potential crimes before they occur. Would it be better for me to basically stop you from doing something illegal as opposed to just waiting and going, oh, cool, hook him, he goes to jail. Very true. I'd rather stop you from, be there to prevent you, to deter you from doing something. I'd rather you guys investigate and do your job. And if there's not anything illegal, just be on well, your way. I mean, if the officers were talking to you, that's what they're doing. That's called investigating. Right. And now that you guys concluded your investigation, was I in the wrong? For the record. I mean, standing here blocking vehicles, that's It's a simple right. yes or no. It's not, not right, right, but it's not illegal. You guys are law enforcement, not not right enforcement. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you get that, though. It's, it's not feelings enforcement, not not right enforcement. It's law enforcement. You guys, if I break the law, then you guys okay. have authority over we, me. We investigate suspicious behavior. Thank you. You standing here. So how did you conclude this your investigation? What's the conclusion to this investigation, officer? They're going to complete a detention report detailing what happened, and that's it. There's no criminal charges. So who was in you the wrong? been arrested for anything. Who was, who was in the wrong? For the record. Nobody was in the wrong. Gotcha. But I got identified. Okay. 
we've identified ourselves as well. So if yes. someone's in the wrong, that's that's what I mean. You're looking for blame. Oh no, I'm not world, looking for there, blame. There can be. There I'm can definitely be not looking for levels blame. Levels of right and wrong, and not there's not always someone to blame. Very true. So that's that's the lesson I would say. That, so yeah. there's there, there's no problem with me standing right here, correct, and recording, as they just said. That, now it's favor, fine. Like I said, please just stay out of the way of the vehicles. Okay? Now it's fine. Right there to right here. You guys see that? Illegally detained. Tire number one. Tire number two. Yes, sir. Bunch of tyrants, bunch of bunch of bunch. I got this guy. Let's see what he's doing. One five five. Five, three, four, six. 